Good morning once again. It is Move Monday. As you know that I'm Pastor Bobby D. Hamilton and today is Monday. This is the day the Lord has made. And Monday is the day that we set aside to encourage you to get up and start moving. No matter what's going on in your world, I want you to move. I understand that we're right now in that hibernation time during the holidays. We find ourselves in Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's and we sit there and kind of gorge ourselves on all the goodies. But I encourage you to get up and move. To, if you gotta push the trash can to the street, then pull it back, move. If you gotta do one burpee, just get up and just move. You gotta run around the house and hide the remote and try to go find it upstairs, or downstairs, or just move. Go curl some green beans, but just do something and move. Exercise, do, do some sense of physicality. If you're not able to, to run or you're not able to jog, you're not able to do a brisk walk, Find something that accommodates you, but make up your mind that this will be the day that you will move. As you know that I got up early this morning, I was thinking about the message yesterday that I preached entitled, Something is Missing, out of Luke chapter 19, 1 through 10. I dealt with a man by the name of Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus, who was a pariah on his own people, he prayed upon his own people. And I thought this morning that for, for Zacchaeus to cause that much pain to his own people, then he must have had a lot of pain in his very own life. You know that as well. Hurt people hurt people. Zacchaeus had to be in a whole lot of pain in his life to exude so much pain on others. And he was a pariah. He was a thief. He was a man who, who just was a con artist. He, he made his living out of, out of, out of being, being, being a, a very escape artist, a financial escape artist from his own people. And so my, my encouragement to you today is that in spite of all that Zacchaeus was, the Lord met Zacchaeus and the Lord saved Zacchaeus. Now, why am I talking about that this morning? Because some of you know Zacchaeus. Some of you have a Zacchaeus in your family. Maybe your son or your daughter, or your uncle or your father, or your husband, maybe your nephew or your niece, but you have someone in your family who could be labeled as Zacchaeus. They are a pariah. They hurt themselves and they also hurt others because there's a void in their life. There's a hole in their lives. I thought this morning, what about his parents? It didn't say about his parents. It didn't say about his mother, father, his siblings. I wonder what they thought about Zacchaeus, how they felt about him, knowing that he was shunned, that he was ostracized, that he was the actual pariah in the community. I wonder what they thought and the pain they had to go through just knowing that Zacchaeus, one of their own flesh and blood, was such a despised, despicable man. And I'm saying that because some of you fathers and mothers and grandparents and guardians, there's someone in your circle right now that you're about to give up on. And I want to encourage you today to don't give up on your Zacchaeus. I don't know where he is, I don't know what he's doing or what she's doing or, or what they're involved in. If it's a legal issue, if it's an addiction issue, if it's a marital issue, I don't know what it could, some criminality, I don't know what it is. Uh, but whatever it is, I want to encourage you this morning that don't give up on your Zacchaeus. I know it's tough. I know it's hard. I know they, they've embarrassed you. They probably hurt you financially. They've hurt your reputation. They've spurned you. They've spurned your God. And I know that it's difficult for you to look at them and think that your own flesh and blood could be a Zacchaeus in your life. But I want to encourage your heart that, that the Lord still came to his tree and called his name. And so you don't know when the Lord may come to their tree and call their name. And if you are Zacchaeus, and I'm talking to you today, I want to tell you to jump down. When the Lord calls your name, and he's calling your name, I want you to jump down. I want you to go back to YouTube today, this morning, and pull down that sermon from Friendship Community Bible Church that I did yesterday called Something Is Missing. Because there's a big gorge inside of our soul, and we miss, we're missing that only God can feel. And I want to tell you today that let God fill that void. Your performance won't fill that void. Pleasure won't fill that void. Accomplishment won't fill that void. No matter what you achieve, no matter the size of your house, no matter what car you drive, no matter how fine your spouse is, no matter how, how, how luxurious the diamonds you wear, it won't fill that void. God has a void that's reserved only for him. And then you can begin to live. So what am I saying to you today? Don't give up on your Zacchaeus. Don't whatever you do. How can I be so sure? How can I be so qualified to speak on this? Because you're looking at a Zacchaeus. And also, I'm looking at a Zacchaeus. You were that. Oh, maybe you weren't as despised and despicable as Zacchaeus in the world, but you were just as sinful. You were just as wrong. You were just as ragged. You were just as arrogant and self-centered. Same thing. And yet the Lord in his gracious mercy saved you. So today I want you to bow on your knees 
and I want you to call by name your Zacchaeus. I want you to pray for your Zacchaeus and say, Lord, save my Zacchaeus. He or she may be in a sycamore tree. He or she may have, may have achieved the pinnacle of greatness, but in their hearts, there's a hole. And you pray for your Zacchaeus and you say, I won't ever give up on my Zacchaeus because the Lord can save them. Oh, yes, he can. Oh, yes, he will. Oh, yes, he does. So I encourage you today, go pull it down. Look at it and tell somebody there's a savior named Jesus and he's calling your name. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to move today. God bless you and God keep you.